stay with us here on BBC One for a double dose of The X-Files in just a moment. on BBC Two. Written and directed by David Duchovny, the first of two X-Files now on BBC One, unearthing hidden secrets in a 50-year-old mystery. I made this. Paddington Dream. I've just got this hope that one day he's going to just do something out of the blue. Paddington Blues. I'm sleeping on wooden floor, waiting to go to LA. Paddington Promises. To me, I just wanted a girlfriend. He's brilliant. Paddington News. When I go and see him, I've never done anything right. I'm only worth sure that this stage with progress. Brand new stories from Paddington Green. A new series starts Tuesday at 10.20 on BBC One. Welcome to Wonderworld. A theme park with a sinister side. Detective Foley, what's going on at my park? A Beverly Hills cop. Here's how the real story goes. Let's see if you like it. And a ride to nowhere. Foley's loose in the park. I repeat, Foley's loose in the park. Get him! I know what you're investigating. What you're looking for is right here. Eddie Murphy returns in Beverly Hills Cop 3, Wednesday at 9.30 on BBC One. Any chance you can explain any of this to me? I don't think the human race was meant to be monogamous. There's no government training schemes for what I'm good at. It's Friday night, I've got better things to do. Are we going out or not? Ain't your dad used to smoke this. This is a special club. Tinsel Town starts Monday at 11.20. Sorted on BBC Two. Pain, sacrifice, determination. This means that I'm a world champion. Four years in the making. Four athletes reveal their personal struggles for the Olympic gold. I'm diabetic. Now we're away for Valentine's Day. Being a bit of a silly boy. I just don't think he's playing by the rules that I am. Intimate video diaries from Britain's elite rowing team. I just feel like I've got to prove myself all the time. Witness the build-up to the Sydney Olympics. Gold Fever, Monday at 10.30 on BBC One. A late look at the weather, now on BBC One, with David Brain. Hello again and welcome to Weatherview. We're going to start by having a look at some of the weather stories from around the world. And we'll start with the Americas, where we've seen thunderstorms and also forest fires across many parts of the United States. No real let-up from that heat. We have the first tropical storm, the first hurricane of the Atlantic season, beginning to move into the more western parts of the Caribbean. More of that in just a second. We've also got a lot of cloud developing across the more central parts of Africa and a few heavy showers developing. That's the storm that we're watching very carefully as it moves gently westwards over the next couple of days. Now the monsoon rain is continuing in southern parts of India and you can see there's no shortage of cloud here right now. More heavy rain to come here as well as up into Bangladesh and parts of Burma. And the wet story is still with us over a large part of southern China. But as you can see Australia is fine and dry. A weather front trying to get into western Australia, perhaps bringing a few showery outbreaks of rain. But this circle of cloud here is the one we're worrying about right now because that's the typhoon. It's been developing over the last three or four days, steadily moving in a west or northwest direction. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. A very nice eye developing on that storm right now and is going to give us some quite strong winds over the next couple of days. But thankfully, Typhoon Jellowat is gradually easing off and the winds are easing. Sustained winds of around 110 miles per hour. 
Now across the other side of the Pacific, we've got these stories, the weather stories across the large part of the United States. Two Falls had some heavy rain through Saturday, 44 millimeters in six hours, some local flooding because of the intensity of that rain. And some of the showers are drifting into those parts of the Midwest that really do need some rain. But unfortunately, some of these showers are thundery in nature and the lightning and the high temperatures have triggered further forest fires. And you can see the very hot air, the warm plume of air with us all the way through the week ahead. And in fact, drifting a little bit further north as well, that hot, dry air staying with us all the way through the week ahead. Now, across the other side of the Atlantic, it's a bit of a quieter story. We've had a few thunderstorms and some heavy showers over this part of Europe, notably northern Italy, up across the Alpine regions of Europe, an area of low pressure here still generating storms through Sunday, and then it starts to move out the way, and an area of high pressure will bring some relief from that and hopefully dry things out a little bit. Meanwhile, cooler air moving into the Baltic states and across Scandinavia. In fact, it goes quite a long way east, that cooler air, as it moves towards Moscow as we move through Tuesday and into Wednesday. For ourselves, we're into a mild, muggy, sort of low cloud kind of story because there's a lot of cloud covering a large part of the United Kingdom for the rest of the night, some mist in places as well, some hill fog for the higher routes, and a mild night, 14, 15, the lowest figures for many parts of the United Kingdom. And tomorrow it starts off rather grey and dreary with some mistiness, some low cloud. It will brighten up through the morning into the afternoon inland, but a line of cloud will probably keep things rather dull and grey over central parts of the United Kingdom, a fresher, cooler feel to the air with a little bit of sunshine across the more northern parts of Scotland. Here, 14 or 15, the temperatures come further south and any breaks in that low cloud and the sunshine getting through will give us 24 or 25 degrees. And that's really the way of it as we move towards the early part of next week. This high pressure getting a little bit closer, but a lot of low cloud floating around and some mistiness. Bye for now. 1973, the year of glitter boys, glitter vans, lip gloss and lollipops. This is Lieutenant Kojak. Who loves you? Of Mick and the boys, minor strikes and marriage on the rock. Oh, Mary, come and listen to this. The year British Leyland launched the Austin Allegro, and Joe Yeldon got in and put her foot down. I Love 1973 at 8.55, followed by Enter the Dragon at 9.55, next Saturday on BBC Two. Out of oh. your pits, mate! Oh, you're having a laugh. We wanted someone ambitious. Have you no idea what you're doing? No. No, no, no. Well, that's great. Diplomatic. No, I'm just telling you. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to get you this back. Working I did tell him. So you never told me, Joe. I'm selling them and you took them. What chance have I got? We got Jeremy. Oh, they're mad. And gave him some of the toughest jobs in Britain. New this Thursday at 8 after EastEnders on BBC One. Maloko, Craig David and Santana at Top of the Pops in 40 minutes on BBC One after a legendary rocker bears his soul with some strong language. Don't think the human race was meant to be monogamous. There's no government training schemes for that I'm good at. It's Friday night, I've got better things to do. Are we going out or not? Me and your dad used to smoke this. This is a special club. Tinsel Town starts Monday at 11.20. Sorted on BBC Two. I can't remember whether it was a boy or a girl. It could have been sausages or anything. Fingers to be proud of. Is there a character like this in Psycho? <laughs> Behind you! I think I love you. Do you get confused by cutlery? <laughs> Lovely women. Yeah! Frighty, <laughs> I'm all. <laughs> Comedy Zone, Friday from 9 on BBC Two. You're watching Late Night, BBC One. Welcome to Wonderworld. A theme park with a sinister side. Detective Foley, what's going on at my park? A Beverly Hills cop. Here's how the real story goes. Let's see if you like it. And a ride to nowhere. Foley's loose in the park. I repeat, Foley's loose in the park. Get him! I know what you're investigating. What you're looking for is right here. Eddie Murphy returns in Beverly Hills Cop 3, Wednesday at 9.30 on BBC One. Any chance you can explain any of this to me? How do you get through that family wedding? <laughs> I don't want to twist your arm or anything. No, it, it's not that. But you would be saving my life, honestly. You could pretend you've got a boyfriend. It's supposed to act like we're a real couple. You're worried that's going to be difficult. 
So how did we meet? I want to get my story straight. But you can't pretend forever. I'm not really very qualified to be playing your boyfriend, am I? Just use your imagination. Glasgow Kiss, new drama for summer nights, continues Tuesday at 9.30 on BBC One. This is BBC One, and we'll be joining BBC News 24 at 4 o'clock. Now, though, we're taking a break to carry out some essential engineering tests.